Welcome to the Sugar Connect Syncing Your Calendar and Contacts in Office 365 video. In this video, we'll outline how to access the Sugar Connect portal, how to use Sugar Connect to easily sync your meetings and contacts from Sugar, and how to use the meeting scheduler. Let's start with accessing the Sugar Connect portal. The Sugar Connect portal is a website that's available to all Sugar Connect users as a supplement to the sidebar. It's also where you go to enable your calendar and contact sync, as well as access the meeting scheduler. You can access the portal by selecting Open Sugar Connect Portal from your Options menu on the sidebar. Now let's talk about what syncing your calendar means. Sugar Connect will sync meetings between Sugar and Outlook. After the initial sync, events that are assigned to you in Sugar will be synced to Outlook and vice versa. The sync interval between Outlook Calendar and Sugar occurs every 15 to 30 minutes. Before setting up Calendar Sync, there's some rules to review. Calendar Sync can be a one or two way sync between Sugar and your Outlook Calendar. With one-way sync, Outlook Calendar events will sync to the Sugar Calendar, but not from the Sugar Calendar back to the Outlook Calendar. With two-way sync, the Outlook Calendar and Sugar Calendar events will sync bi-directionally. Only the calls and meetings that are assigned to you in Sugar will be synced to your external calendar. Sugar calls and meetings for which you are a guest, but not the assigned user, are not going to sync to your external calendar. Recurring events that were created or accepted in your external calendar will not sync to Sugar. In the case of a conflict between synced events, the external calendar's changes are going to win over any changes made in Sugar. Lastly, Sugar calls and tasks will become appointments in Outlook, and Sugar meetings will be created as meetings in Outlook. Now that we've reviewed the rules, let's go ahead and set up our calendar sync. The first step is to navigate to the Sugar Connect portal. Click on the Synchronization option. Once on that screen, click Configure. You'll enter your Sugar credentials, including your Sugar server URL, as well as your username and password. Now click back into the synchronization screen to configure your calendar sync settings. The first option is to enable or disable the one or two way sync chosen for you by your Sugar Connect administrator. Next is the option to choose to use the primary calendar. Checking this box means that once your items are synced, they're going to show up in your main Outlook calendar. Disabling this option means that Sugar Connect will create a new custom calendar with an Outlook that's labeled Sugar, and only events in that Sugar calendar will sync to your Sugar instance. Please note that if you select not to use the primary calendar, you will have to create duplicate events from your primary calendar into the Sugar calendar in order for those items to be synced to Sugar. Sync private events will allow me to sync meetings marked as private. Finally, I have a few options for syncing Sugar meetings, calls, and tasks based on their current status. Once you've made your selections, click Start to begin the sync. It will take just a moment to synchronize. Once the synchronization is complete, you'll see a message that states calendar synchronization has been initialized. You'll see the date of the last sync, when the next sync is scheduled, and the calendar that will sync. If at any point in time you want to pause the calendar sync, you can do so by clicking the pause icon. Now that we've enabled the calendar sync, let's take a look at viewing calls and meetings in the Outlook calendar. The way you'll view your Sugar events in Outlook all depends on the option you selected when you enabled your calendar sync. If you selected the default primary calendar, you can simply view your primary calendar and view the events that have synced from Sugar among the rest of your meetings and appointments. If you disabled the primary calendar option, then you'll see a Sugar calendar available in Outlook. Switching to the Sugar calendar view will show you anything that has been synced from Sugar within your Outlook calendar. Let's walk through how to create new Sugar meetings with Sugar Connect. If you selected the primary calendar option, all you have to do is go to your primary calendar, create a new meeting, and save. Once it's been saved, it will sync to Sugar as a meeting record on the next calendar sync. If you disabled the primary calendar option, you need to be sure that you're creating the new meeting record within the Sugar calendar in order for it to be synced over to Sugar. Please note that events that you've deleted from your synced Outlook calendar will automatically be deleted from Sugar during the next calendar sync. Now let's take a look at Sugar Connect's built-in scheduling system. This allows you to provide a custom link to your meeting scheduling page, which then syncs with your Outlook calendar. You're going to start by navigating to your Sugar Connect portal. Click on Scheduler in the left panel. The scheduler comes preloaded with three event types, which represent standard 60, 30, and 15 minute meetings. For each event type, you have the ability to open the calendar link, which will pull up the scheduling view in a new window. You can copy the meeting link, which you can then copy directly to an email, chat client, or any other messaging service. You can edit the event type, which will pull up the configuration screen where you can edit the name and description of the event, the duration of the event in minutes, the minimum scheduled notice, enable the option to create leads in CRM, limit the days available for this event's type in the calendar, 
and the availability where you can set the days of the week and hours of the day for the invitees to choose from. Any existing events on your synced calendar will automatically be deducted from the available hours. You can also enable or disable the availability of the day, edit the hours of the day to be available, and set one or more windows of time to be available within a day by interval. You can also delete any event type and toggle the event type to enable or disable its availability. You can create a new event type by clicking Add Event Type. For example, if you want to meet with John for 30 minutes on Monday or Tuesday morning, you can create a new event type called Meeting with John, set the availability to only the morning hours for Monday or Tuesday. When you share the scheduling link with John, he will be able to select from any of these times, minus the times which are blocked off due to existing meetings on your synced calendar. When you are ready to set up a meeting with someone, click on the Copy Scheduler link icon for the relevant event type. The URL for the scheduler page will be stored in your clipboard and you can paste it into a new message. When the recipient clicks on the link, they will see your availability based on your synced calendar and the meeting type. They will click on the link and choose the meeting time that works best for them. Here is an example of the page you'll see. The invitee should click on the time they prefer and will then be prompted to enter their personal information. On save, they will see a screen with the meeting details and receive an email with the subject, Sugar Connect Confirm Booking Schedule. The invitee must click the link in the confirmation email in order to successfully schedule the meeting. It will only be scheduled when the link is clicked. The meeting details will then be sent to you in an automated email with the subject line starting with Booked Meeting. Sugar Connect will also add the meeting to your calendar with the status Busy and will send a formal invite to the invitee who can then accept the meeting request to add it to their calendar. Now let's take a look at syncing your Sugar contacts to Outlook. Using this feature allows you to sync your Sugar leads and contacts to your Outlook contacts via Sugar Connect. Before we enable Contact Sync, let's take a look at the rules for syncing leads and contacts. Contact Sync is a one-way push from Sugar to your external address book, so items are only going to be moving from Sugar into Outlook and not vice versa. Only leads and contacts that are assigned to you will sync to your Outlook address book. Contacts that exist in your address book but not in Sugar will not sync to Sugar during the sync process. The contact sync time interval is set to every hour or every 15 minutes depending on your subscription plan. If you're not sure which it is, you may want to check with your Sugar administrator. When editing records, changes made to leads and contacts in your Sugar instance will sync over to your Outlook address book, but any changes made to a contact in your Outlook address book will not sync back into Sugar. They will instead be overwritten on the next automatic sync update. When creating new contacts, this can only be done via the Sugar Connect sidebar or directly in Sugar. When deleting records, if you delete a synced contact from your address book but not from Sugar, that contact will reappear in your address book after the next automatic sync. So if you're trying to delete something, you want to be sure that you do it within Sugar, not within Outlook. Now let's take a look at how to set up your contact sync. You'll start by navigating to the Sugar Connect portal. Once there, click on the Synchronization option. Because we already set up our calendar sync, my credentials are already populated. Click on Start to begin the one-way sync of our leads and contacts from Sugar. Once you click Start, the synchronization is going to show as in progress and will only take a few moments. Once the sync has completed, the time of the last and next sync occurrences will be shown. If at any point in time you want to pause the sync, you're able to do so by clicking the Pause button. You'll simply click on Resume when you're ready to resume syncing contacts. Again, from here, we'll navigate back into Outlook to the People icon. There, you'll be able to see a list of leads and contacts that are assigned to you in Sugar and have been added to Outlook as contacts. You should now have an understanding of how to access the Sugar Connect portal as well as how to easily sync your meetings and contacts between Sugar and Outlook using Sugar Connect for Office 365. Thanks for watching.